Hey, here we go again. It's another weekend. The sun is shining and we're going out. This time we're off to Bude. And a bit of a pong in the air, so I think they've been doing a bit of muck spreading around here. Anyway, hopefully it won't be pongy all the way. So we're going to go out through Callington Launceston and off to Bude for the weekend. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. Right then, well this weekend's been a little bit different to normal weekends. I've sort of come away with the family, with the grandchildren. Didn't really not to do about the video, but um, I think maybe we'll talk about this um, pop-up campsite behind me. Um, it's called Sand Parks. Okay, so this is Sand Parks campsite. It's like a, uh, it's near Black Rock. It's a pop-up campsite, we've been here before. However, um, it sort of says, um, no large groups, um, no board games, various other bits and pieces. Um, but to be honest, they're cramming you in quite tightly on top of each other. There are large groups of single sex people, so don't worry about that. Um, facilities um, there's two washing up sinks for the washing up, there's um, toilets and there's showers. The showers have been lukewarm at best. Um, the water for the washing up's been lukewarm. We actually paid £12 per person per night and children were £5. I think that's quite a lot of money for what it is and what you get. But we're going to go, I mean, the, the only one perfect thing about this is the fact that the sun sets there. But we're lucky, we could drive here in the evening and see this. We don't have to camp here to see the sunset. It's about 50 minutes from our house. So, you know, if we wanted to come up and see the sunset, it's quite easy for us. But what can I tell you about this area? There's a few cafes and restaurants. They're all quite expensive. Lots of surfing lessons in it going on. Surf's not brilliant here this weekend. We went and see a little bit with my granddaughter earlier. The water's quite warm still actually. I was quite surprised. It was very wind, it's been very windy and a few bit of flags. You can see the flag flapping up there in the distance and you can see my flags actually flying up there. It's quite cold wind it's coming in. So we've just come down past the beach house. There's the beach house. Rock formation here is absolutely amazing, I think you've got to agree with that. And it's actually more pronounced if you go on to Crackington Haven. It has a fascinating geology. And it's even had a phenomenon named after it, it's called the Crackington Formation. It's a fractured shale that's been bent and contorted by the Earth's movements millions of years ago. I guess I am a real sunset lover. 
and this stunning sunset brings another day to the end. Well, good morning, and here we are on a Sunday morning. We had a pretty quiet night last night, sat down, yapped, looked at the stars as you do. And uh, you saw the sunset last night, it was absolutely stunning. We've had a few stunning sunsets the last couple of days. It's great, it's really good. Anyway, we were talking about this site, weren't we? It's okay, it's in a good location. Um, but it's expensive. We pay £12 each per night and £5 for the children, um, which makes it quite an expensive weekend, considering you're camping in a, a field. Facilities, well, we've got showers, got toilets and we've got washing up facilities. Um, showers, at best, were tepid. Washing up facilities were tepid. And the toilets, I don't know why it is, people don't seem to want to keep toilets in a state that they'd expect to see at home or in a state they would expect to see. I've gone down a couple of times now and they've been in an awful state. I feel sorry for the people who run in this site because uh, it's them who's got to clean up after these people. Anyway, that's a moan over. As we look around, it's a beautiful morning and you can see vans are already in the car park for um, Black Rock over there and it's about 9.30. So it's going to be another busy day. I think it's going to be a hot day as well. Um, look around, it's looking beautiful. And come back up over there. Lots of people starting to pack up now because um, obviously you can get to this sort of stage of the weekend and that's what happens. You know, you've got your two days away and back to work. Or if you're really lucky, you've got a week off because it's a school holiday. So um, lots of people are taking a week off. And, kids school holidays. Beautiful sight so if you look over there in the distance you can see the fields all, all the haven bailed. I do like that sight. Just makes me feel summery when I look at that. Anyway, as you can see the site is quite busy and we're going to uh, wander back to the van there. You can see the cattle there. So we'll wander back. I think what we're going to do is we're going to head off to Callington after here and go for some breakfast, which I think would be quite nice. Well, we've just come on to uh, Louis' tea rooms and it's biker day and there's some absolutely stunning bikes here. I'm just looking around, I do like my bikes. There's a lovely Z900 there. Really, really nice Z900 there. 1975. That's beautiful. Well, I'm having the big breakfast at Louise Tea Rooms, and V is having a steak and kidney pudding. 
looks really nice, doesn't it? Well, this is a really great location, and what an amazing view. That's actually looking out over Plymouth Sound. And a few months ago, I came here and filmed some drone footage up at the top on Kit Hill. I'll put a link up on above. And um, Louise Tea Rooms is behind me. We have um, V-Dub meetings out here. Um, on Sundays, there's a regular um, group of bikers that come out here with some very nice bikes as you saw earlier. It's pretty good food as well. You know if you're going past Cannington it's worth looking at it. It's just on the road to Kit Hill on the right hand side. But anyway um, we're gonna say goodbye now and if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. So see you later on guys. Look after yourselves. Bye.